my name is Moshe. And my name is Josh. And today we're going to talk about the greatest inventor, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was born in Millen, Ohio on February 11, 1847. His father's name was Samuel Ogden Edison, and his mother was named Nancy Edison. Thomas had six siblings. When Thomas was younger, his teachers kicked him out of school, saying he was addled. When his mother heard this, she took him out of school and taught him herself. At the age of 12, Thomas convinced his parents to let him sell newspapers to passengers on the Grand Trunk Railroad line. He soon began to sell his own small newspaper called the Grand Trunk Herald. At the age of 15, Edison became an itinerant telegrapher traveling through the Midwest and subbing for those that went to the Civil War. However, as technology advanced, receivers were able to read messages by a sound key, which left Edison disadvantaged because of his bad hearing. Edison lost his hearing when he was late to a train and the conductor grabbed him by his ear and tried to pull him up. Edison moved to Boston in 1868 to expand his network and find investors. During his night shift, he worked the telegraphs, but during the day, he would invent. One of his first patented inventions was the electrographic vote recorder. Edison's device allowed officials voting on a bill to cast their decisions to a central recorder that calculated and tallied the votes automatically. Political leaders were not interested in this because politicians feared that this would damage the vote trading and maneuvering in the legislative process. In 1869, Edison moved to New York and made his first successful invention, which was an improved stock ticker. Edison was paid $40,000 for the rights and quickly quit work as a telegrapher and took on full-time inventing. In 1870, Thomas Edison invested in his first small laboratory, a manufacturing facility in Newark, New Jersey. By 1870, Thomas Edison had the reputation of a top inventor and also became a great businessman. In 1876, Edison moved to Menlo Park, New Jersey and built a new, nicer, and much larger facility. In 1871, he married Mary Stilwell, who died in 1884. He later married Mina Miller in 1886. He proposed to her using Morse code, which he was an expert in. Thomas Edison made many great inventions. You may know Thomas Edison for creating the first practical light bulb, but he also created some other great inventions too. One of Edison's first inventions was the quadruplex telegraph, which allowed people to send four messages over the same wire. Some of his other inventions included the carbon microphone, also known as a carbon transmitter, a type of microphone that converts sound to an electrical audio signal. There was also the phonograph, which used cylinders to record as well as reproduce sound. He also invented motion pictures, a series of images which, when displayed on a screen, created the illusion of a moving image and still exists today. Being an inventor, not all inventions work. In 1899, Thomas formed the Edison Portland Cement Company and made everything from cabinets to pianos and houses. At the time, cement was too expensive and the invention never took off. One of Edison's biggest failures, if not the biggest failure, was what his inability to make a practical way to mine iron ore, and he lost all of his money that he had invested in that project. Thomas Edison tried time and time again at many things, and sometimes his efforts paid off and sometimes they didn't. That's just what inventing and science is all about. Regardless of his setbacks, Thomas Edison persevered and made many great inventions. Thomas tried to practicalize the light bulb over a thousand times. When a reporter asked, How did it feel to fail a thousand times? Edison replied, I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a, with a thousand steps. Thomas Edison had many companies. Edison General Electric Company that he founded to bring his various businesses together is now General Electric, or GE. He founded all types of companies. Some made limestone, others made batteries and electrical supplies. Edison Storage Battery Company was created in New Jersey on May 27, 1901 to develop, manufacture, and sell Edison's alkaline storage battery. It produced batteries from mining lamps, training lighting, and signaling, and other uses. The division was sold to the Electric Storage Battery Company, now XI Technologies, on July 20, 1960. Even though Thomas Edison was a professional inventor, he didn't try to keep track of his inventions until 1871. At that time, he used a pocket notebook in which he drew his ideas and had little notes. After that, he tried to ch keep track of all of his inventions and soon had many beautifully illustrated notebooks. By the end of his life, he had accumulated 2,332 patents for his inventions. Edison died on October 18, 1931, but his spirit still lives on.